Ankara has been buying crude oil from both Baghdad and the Kurdish regional government. The KRG controls Iraq's oil-rich north. TRT World's Yolo Apdafid is in Erbil. He's been on the ground to ask voters what they think about the referendum and its implications. Yolo, thanks so much for joining us. Now, what are the developments since the vote? Well, I think it's quite significant what you've just outlined, that uh, Ankara says that it will deal directly with Baghdad in terms of oil coming out of the northern oil fields around Kirkuk. And that's significant because Turkey and Iran have been buying oil directly from the Kurdish regional government. If that stops, well, obviously, there'll be less revenue, less foreign revenue, less US dollars uh, for the budget of KRG, and that could be quite debilitating because it has uh, a debt already, a mounting debt, it has uh, increasing unemployment. And if this squeeze commercially, uh, economically uh, on the Kurdish region, then it'll be possibly even harder than the political and diplomatic squeeze. Uh, and this is what uh, Haider al-Abadi and the Baghdad government want. They want to try and control the airports, control the borders, and especially control the outflow of oil. And that potentially could be a lot harder for the KRG to deal with. In response to that, uh, we had Fala Mustafa Bakir, the head of the foreign relations for the KRG, saying, look, we are not declaring war, we're declaring peace. This is a referendum, a democratic vote. We show overwhelming support for independence eventually, but we need to negotiate. And what they hope is that this overreaction, that's the word that's been used, this overreaction will cease and there will be negotiations. Yolo, and what are neighbouring states saying about the vote? Well, we've heard consistently, I think, over the past two weeks that Turkey especially and Iran uh, are concerned about the vote. They're also far more concerned now about the fallout because of large Kurdish minorities in both countries. Um, in Iran, we heard straight after the vote uh, that Iranian Kurds were out celebrating uh, on the streets of, of free cities in the northwestern part of the country. Uh, there has been unrest in southeast Turkey continually. Uh, especially during the last year and a half, two years. So there is concern there. Uh, and of course, it's not just Turkey and Iran uh, that is concerned about any uh, fracturing of Iraq as a country. Uh, further afield, Russia and the United States uh, are concerned, the United Nations and the European Union. But I think crucially for the US and for Russia, both have interests here in different ways. At this uh, Erbil International Airport, which is just behind me, there are American troops stationed. If that airport is closed to international flights from uh, 3 o'clock local time Friday, it will have an effect, potentially, on the battles against Daesh in Iraq. Same with Russia. Russia will come and talk to the Turkish Yolo, president we'll have uh, to leave it this there. week, and they will be able, they'll want to talk about the new deals that they have here.